Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel. We will bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly um, encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I really appreciate. Our vigilantes already embedded in 36 states, says Mieti Allah. As the Mieti Hala Katao Hooray Social Cultural Organization unveils its vigilante group on August 27. Abdullahi Bodejo, the national president, has declared that nobody can stop the security outfit from taking off. Even as he said that their men were already embedded in the vigilante group of Nigeria in the 36 states of the country. Speaking with Saturday Sun, Badejo queried, why should people or groups should be against the security outfit when various ethnic groups have theirs? The Miyeti Allah boss said they were collaborating with Vigilante Group of Nigeria, whose Commander General Captain Usman Jahon retired is a Fulani. According to him, the Vigilante Group of Nigeria is a registered organization and operating in every state of the Federation. And some Fulani were already with it. On how his organization came up with the idea, Badejo said the Fulani have been killed across the states of the Federation and there is need for and there is need to protect them. If they kill Fulani, they will say it is Fulani who did the killing. If they kill some people, they will say it is Fulani. And if they burn down Fulani settlement and Fulani carried out reprisal, it is only the Fulani they would mention. Fulani will always be mentioned in these problems, even when they were not involved, he said. That is why we decided to approach the Vigilante Group of Nigeria Commander to collaborate with him to train our Vigilante Outfit. Before now, there was no Mieti Allah Vigilante in the country. But now, if you see the Vigilante Group of Nigeria all over the country, you will see the Fulani because they are already operating under the Vigilante Group of Nigeria. What, are, what we are doing now is to identify the Fulanese in the Vigilante Group of Nigeria Security Outfit in some places. There are hundred and more in some places. We can organize them and differentiate them between the Vigilante Group of Nigeria and we can have them in all the 36 states including the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? It is um, no longer news that the Vigilante Group or the Mieti uh, Allah Cattle Breeders Association, MACBAN, are already uh, putting their own efforts into establishing a Vigilante Group in the country, which they say will operate in the 36 states of Nigeria and the FCT. So be that as it were, guys, do we think in any way that... Um, this vigilante group is needed in this country. Well, another question is, why in the 36 states of Nigeria? Why not in the states where, or that is the northern states? And why are they why are they deciding to operate in the 36 states of Nigeria? Other regional security, like the um, Amoteku in the southwest, are operating regionally, just uh, within the borders and, uh, of the southwest so these particular uh, steps of the makban the Mieti allah cattle breeders association has given rise to controversies and um, misunderstanding and uh, misrepresentation as it were from different uh, persons as to why 
is the Mieti Allah Cattle Breeders Association forming a vigilante group. They are not even um, uh, they are not even the state government. They are not even uh, yes, they are not even the state government. So who gives them or what gives them the right and the constitutional backing and power to create a vigilante group? Well, guys, it is what it is. This is Nigeria, where we believe that uh, virtually everything is possible uh, under this present government and administration as far as. Uh, Nigeria is concerned, but it is what it is. Let's quickly take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning this. Idaho Sadeke says, definitely very soon, the entire indigenous people of Nigeria, in order to remain free, may be compelled by collective self-preservation instinct to collective confront the Fulani challenge and threats, with a sole aim of sorting it out once and for all. Yes, that day will surely come and it probably is now. Guys, do you agree with the opinion of Idahosa? Well, I don't think this uh, issue would lead to any um, confrontation as it is. The government has a role to play and um, the government will do what they need to do, I believe, if um, they do not uh, you know, allow ethnicity to overrule nationality. Oyeka Obona says, this is what the Yorubas have brought upon the country. See how bold these blood-sucking guys are talking. It's only in Nigeria that you will see such people who are killing people every day in the country on a daily basis and still walk free without being arrested and even claim that they are the ones committing the crimes. They are not the ones committing the crimes. Still, gov still, government is not doing anything. I want to remind you that the Biafran war was not between the Nigerian army and the Biafran army, but between the Biafran army and Egypt, Britain, Russia, and the rest of Arab world army. Do not push the old eastern region into war because it will not be like the last one. Well, definitely there would not be war in Nigeria, I want to believe. Henry Adebayo says, Yes, we know doing dangerously in southern Kaduna, killing massively, there at, at least is if we don't know any, we know this one. And government is calling them bandits, saying they are on a revenge mission. But they will all meet their Waterloo soon if there is a living God in heaven. Well, a lot of people are against this particular move by the Mieti Alakato Breeders Association and one would expect that government will call them to order and uh, put a stop to the uh, planned uh, creation of vigilante group as it were. If the Nigerian security apparatus cannot, you know, uh, cannot uh, handle the security challenges and situation in the country, then uh, the government of Nigeria has failed and uh, needs to be asked questions. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support and I will see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.